Good Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Joel. Let's get started. Good morning. Today with us is Patricia. And Patricia is an author. It's always interesting when we have an author. And then she has a book called The Moon of the Charlie Rabbit, right? Full Moon of Charlie Rabbit. Full Moon of the uh, Charlie Rabbit, right? Tell us something about this book. Okay, it's the story of a 25-year-old um, young adult. He's disabled and he attends a workshop and he lives in a small midwestern town mm -hmm. um, called Fort Hunt. Mm -hmm. um, and he lives with his widowed mother, Mitzi, um, who works at the local quilted bag factory. Mm -hmm. And um, they have kind of a quiet life, but she tries, she attempts to integrate him into the community. And one time she finds out that there's a medieval fair coming to town, so she decides to take him to this fair. Mm -hmm. And at the fair they meet um, three very interesting people. Mm -hmm. And it's a young lady named Fresenda and her twin fraternal brothers, fraternal twin brothers, um, Cass and Lux. And they kind of take Charlie under their wing and they offer to um, take Charlie around the fair and give Mitzi a break and by the end of the day, which is very pleasant for Mitzi, she decides that she wants these people to be, you know, kind of part of her extended family. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, just But you don't want to tell the whole story. No. So that no one would buy the book. We want to give a little bit. Right. So that they, they just a teaser, just but I do teaser. have to add something to okay. the teaser. Okay. A few weeks after that, she notices that he has this tremendous between the ear intellectual growth spurt, mm -hmm. and he can do things that he never did before. And he, even though he graduated from the public school system, mm -hmm. he was um, termed uneducable. Like they could never teach him to read, and he starts reading on his own and doing all these amazing things. And she freaks out, mm -hmm. and she takes him to the doctor and says, "What's going?" on and the doctor says well what are you complaining about you know um, he's getting better and it's you know it doesn't happen often but it does happen and then one day she comes to the conclusion that it has something to do with these three young people that have become so intrinsically a part of their lives mm -hmm. and um, that's when the fun begins because chapter five is called busted oh okay. <laughs> unlike the rest of a lot of books in this genre, mm -hmm. you don't have to wait halfway through the book for um, action to begin. Yeah, for the for the main <laughs> protagonist to like get it that there's really something going on. Yeah, and um, you know, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, what prompted you to write this book? Um, Twelve years ago, I was in Virginia, mm -hmm. and I'm in the mental health field, by the way, mm -hmm. and I was there, I'm a behavioral specialist, mm -hmm. which kind of gave me an edge in writing this book. Oh. And um, I, I have myself a, a disabled son, a handicapped son, and at the time, the vampire genre was all about Anne Rice and mm -hmm. her books, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, I remember thinking, I wonder what would happen if a vampire bit someone who was developmentally disabled if they would improve or not. Oh. And so I started oh. writing the story. I hadn't gotten employed yet, so I started writing the story. Mm -hmm. And I had this fragment of story that I went back to from time to time for years and years. Mm -hmm. And then most recently, um, let me see, about five months ago, I was talking to my daughter, J.C. Estel. And um, we were talking about what we were doing, and it was on the phone, and she said, I'm writing a book. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's funny, because I'm writing a book. And she said, well, my book is about vampires. And I said, huh, my book is about <laughs> vampires. Yeah. And so she told me about her characters, and I told her about mine, and we fell in love with each other's characters. <laughs> we were so jealous because we loved them, and so we decided to collaborate. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. Yes. Why are Mondays great for you? Mondays are great for me because I realize the rest of the world is in a funk and I have an advantage because I am so much a morning person. And, and, I can tell you are. Especially, especially when I was working, you know, yeah. I would just go in and like blow everybody away. And they, but 
but it wasn't just showing off. You actually raise other people's, I'm in mental health, so this mm -hmm. is a professional opinion. Um, you raise other people's energy levels mm -hmm. you when you're positive yourself. You guys know that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and what do you do to kickstart your Mondays? Kickstart my Mondays, um, I usually go to the gym. Oh, very good, yeah. very good, yeah. Um, because if you're not there, phys I mean, in the physical, if you can kind of boost yourself up, um, then everything else falls into place, the emotional, the mental, and the other thing is it's such a good stress reliever. Oh, definitely. Everything yeah. Seems, yeah. seems like it's so much more in perspective. Mm -hmm. So, um, what, I mean, you have been in this field for some time, especially in the mental health field. Yes. Um, what kind of advice can you give to our audience? Like one unique advice. Um, Something that comes the, right off your mind. Okay, the most important thing is don't take any of it personally. Mm -hmm. We are not here that long, mm -hmm. if you really think about it. Yeah. Don't take any of it personally. Let it kind of roll off of you and invest yourself in thinking positively and um, surround yourself with positive energy. And that means, you know, being very selective on, um, you know, what you watch, what you read. Mm -hmm. Excellent, uplifting, <laughs> um, fast-paced, entertaining books. Yeah. Um, with cheeky characters that have interactions that are humorous at times and endearing. And they're very relatable characters. So reading books like... The full moon of Charlie <laughs> <laughs> Well, help keep your spirits up. Yeah. Yeah. It's a positive book. Do you have an adage by which you live your life? Um, I, I, think, I think what I just said, don't, don't um, take anything too personally, mm -hmm. even if it's directed right at you. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, um, um, okay. One of my characters is kind of a Zen vampire, mm -hmm. and he says, "Be peaceful; it will be okay." Oh. And as I, even after I wrote the book, and by the way, this is a series, the Full Moon series, mm -hmm. and we're deep into the second book that will probably be published, I would say, in January, or February, mm -hmm. um, and added to our Full lineup book. there. Yeah, but um, you know, just be peaceful. Kind of pull yourself back in, center yourself, and go out and conquer the world. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So tell us something that not many people know about you. Um, let me see. I wish I was a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you didn't see that, right? <laughs> if, if you had one superpower, what would it be and why? I would love to... I I like I like to fly for sure. Mm -hmm. um, my vampires have kind of piggybacked on modern technology, mm -hmm. and because the radar is so sensitive now that it can pick up flying flocks of birds, that's mm -hmm. how sensitive it is. Mm -hmm. um, they actually use a reverse magnetic thing and hover, mm -hmm. and then catch air currents. So. They fly differently. In fact, there's a lot of technology in this book. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's sci-fi and it's fantasy and so on and so forth. But um, I think I'd like to fly. Oh, cool. So, uh, Patricia, Matteron is the last name, right? Yes, um, How do people get hold of you to do business? Like, is, if, if you, I'm sure your book is on Amazon, right? Mm -hmm. So when they look for the book, do they look by the title or your name? Okay. Um, the book, it, the ebook is on Amazon and also Smashwords. You can look by the title, "The Full Moon of Charlie Rabbit," mm -hmm. um, and also um, you can get a hold of me um, on Gmail, mm -hmm. Matern Patricia um, at Gmail dot com, mm -hmm. and I'd be glad to answer any of your questions. Um, we, the other thing is, once you log into um, Amazon. To order the ebook, there is a discussion board there, and mm -hmm. I made myself available to answer any questions you have about the characters. Um, I've had quite a few readers say that they developed crushes on the characters, oh. which I think is super exciting. <laughs> um, but there, you know, there's there's a lot to choose from, and it's a very relatable book because 
Mitzi, I think she starts out in her late 40s, mm -hmm. you know, but of well, course, she, she's once she's vampire? bitten, well, she's not at first, oh, okay. and I'll save that. There's a lot of surprises in the book, <laughs> but, um, um, you know, and she's a caregiver. Caregivers would relate to this book. Mm -hmm. um, also, people that are disabled or have a disabled relative mm -hmm. um, that they care for, and also young people because there's some very studly um, young vampires, ripped vampires in this book, <laughs> and they, I think it's a good book for men to read too because, um, like I said, it's some of the best dialogue, most entertaining dialogue you'll ever read, and um, there are actual, actually battles. I had input from, mm -hmm. you know, young people, and especially gamers mm -hmm. when I read oh, this I, book. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Like, yeah. So, you know, there are all these components that make it appeal to a wide range. Good. Um, so we would like to thank Patricia for oh, coming and joining you. us today. Thank you. And um, thank you. we would like to thank you, the audience, for uh, tuning in. Uh, we are recording at New Ground Coffee Company. And then buy the book on Amazon. This is Monday Morning Jolt. You see.